Hi, this blog question is, I've heard that a rhinoplasty can help breathing. Is this true? And this question came from Maine, of all places. If you have a deviated septum, or something called hypertrophic turbinates, these are the first things that can cause nasal obstruction. And the septum is a partition that goes all the way back. It's in between the nostrils, and it goes straight back. Fixing that, either alone or with the rhinoplasty, can help your breathing. If you've had a previous rhinoplasty, or there's some other issues which are causing collapse here, collapse the middle part of your nose, these may also obstruct your breathing. So with the septal rhinoplasty, where we're using grafts to open up, feel that, it feels so good when you do that. You know, other areas of your nose, spreader grafts here, ailer batten grafts, rim grafts, lateral curl struts, all these different types of grafts can improve your breathing. So in general, nasal surgery, especially if you're having a cosmetic rhinoplasty, you have to make sure that the doctor is performing it is not overdoing your nose so that with time, up to five, 10 years, maybe even after a year, that the nose won't collapse, pinch, lift up, and then you won't be able to breathe. So you want to have a functional rhinoplasty simultaneously where your airway will be kept open and strong. I hope this helps. And by the way, once you do have a nasal septum that's been fixed, you need about a good two, three weeks before you can start breathing really great.